So this is a little update on my dressnariads and my onions. So this here, this Calaria is declining. I'm not sure what happened, but it just started turning brown and now the whole thing is almost completely gone. I actually uprooted it to see what was happening with the roots. The roots look okay, but um, the tops are all disintegrating. These haven't shown any signs of um, any kind of life yet. This, this is dead, I think. Actually, the tops are dead, but then I uprooted it and the root was still alive, so... But I don't know. <clears throat> this one is okay. It needs a little water, but it's fine. Um, and there are the onion seedlings. And they're all stretching out over to the right. And this is uh, the Spanish, the yellow Spanish that I started like two or three weeks before the others. And these are just coming up. And uh, I have some over here in the window, which uh, they're doing okay too. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, they're doing okay, but um, yeah, like I said in my other video, they're they're getting a little too long, and I'm not sure what to do with them because um. They're just getting too long, and normally I think, um, from what I recall, the years past, I would have put them, you know, like, maybe after two days of ger you know, clear germination that everything, most, all the seeds were germinating, I probably would have put them downstairs in the greenhouse, um, and let them, let them grow, you know, because onion seeds... Onion seedlings are very um, frost hardy. However, the difficulty comes when you allow the plants to remain indoors at this regular, you know, humanly comfortable temperature. Because if you take them downstairs, you know, when they've been luxuriating in like 68 degrees. Fahrenheit and then take them downstairs to the greenhouse that's like at best 32 degrees on a on a warm night in the middle of February or whatever then it's going to be shocked and it, they'll probably perish so anyway I don't want that to happen because I spent a lot of money on these seeds but um I don't know I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, make a little cold frame, make a little makeshift cold frame and put them, you know, like I think I'm going to prick them out. I might just put them just as they are like that now downstairs in a cold frame and then um, as, as time allows I'll prick them out. Um, I think particularly the the uh, yellow Spanish onions that um, have been growing since I think like the middle of January or the I think it was actually the, the end of January <clears throat> um, so they were growing since like the end of January and those seedlings are the oldest and the most stressed at this point they're not really stressed that much but they're going to be stressed pretty soon so I want to take care of them before I lose those seeds. Um, in the meantime, I probably should try and fix my greenhouse because that would really help a lot. If it if it was if it was if it didn't have those crazy holes in them, I showed you like maybe two videos ago how the cats they like they clawed holes on the sides and on the top because they get in there and they they sleep at night in there, which is I mean, I'm actually happy to um, be hospitable to the cats, but not happy that they're destroying the greenhouse. So, it's a catch-22. In any case, um, I think that's all I really have to share right now. Um, I don't really have 
too much else going on. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.